Shouldn't miss your blades. Victor Loma, you're going to see. Um, I pushed that around when I was, oh, struth, probably 10. It's been sitting idle under a tractor for years, and when we bought this house, I brought it over. And because uh, mum bought another one and said that this one wouldn't go. I did look at it once before and it had a fuel leak and it kind of pushed it back under the track to where it came from and since then we looked at it today, fixed the fuel leak and pulled the carby off and had a bit of a look. It's not running properly but we cooked the plug in front of the heater so that was as black as the ace of spades and cleaned that up and it was good so it runs but although i think not well maybe the crankshaft seal legs a bit i don't know well you think it would rev higher and run a lean either that i've probably got to open the little there's a little plate they got little right angle gears sometimes they need a bit of a squirt with some crc or something that whole butterfly shaft might be a bit stiff <coughs> it might not be opening full throttle <coughs> but they've got an air assisted governor so the, there's a big fin on the top of the carby and as the engine revs up obviously it blows air around the cool itself or they factor that in and it pushes the the butterfly shut and it's got like a little spring around it and it's yeah air controlled a lot of the later Briggs and Stratton stuff did that too um, and it was always a pain in the butt, but I think the Victor's sort of really nailed it. It was not really an issue with a Victor. You just sort of, it's kind of lawnmower, you just sort of, you know, run it until it dies and, yeah. And, you know, that one's probably, what, worn out two generations of people, so that's like 170, or 165cc, that one, I think. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I did read it. What was on, written on the side of that one? Lomo. That Lomo, yeah. 160. 160. So there you go. There, I do have a front cover for it somewhere. It might be lost in Dad's shed somewhere. I have no idea. The pot rivered it on and um, just goes over the tank. It had a name, but I can't remember what they called it. But like it was basically one of your early mass port type things or something. I believe that's a fairly late one. Um, we do have a twin cylinder um, and a spare engine both of which I think go that I could possibly make a lawnmower out of one or a stationary engine out the other one but they take the big black round black carby which I think is a bit of a drama to work on the small small time I've spent working on those black carbies is a bit of a I always sort of baffled me as to how they actually worked. 
I know a little bit more now because I mean, I, last time I looked at one, I would have had to have been 14. So <clears throat> I might have another look and see if I can fix one up. Uh, yeah, some of the simple things confuse me. So, <laughs> <coughs> so yeah. Long and short, the story is I'll I'll dig one out one day and perhaps get old man and involved and see if we can fire one up and do a video because I don't know too many people that have got the twin cylinder. I do know one guy, but fat chance of getting it. He's sort of hoard stuff, but I guess it's not hoarding if your stuff is cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's enough rambling for now. So uh, I'll, I'll catch you all later.